lovely to virtually meet you guys. And yeah. uh, can I just say congratulations on season two? It is fantastic. And both of your characters went on quite the journey, I think, even like between seasons, but also throughout season two as well. So when you were reading the scripts, what were you most excited to um, to portray for your characters? For me, it was definitely um, Terra's coming out journey. I was so excited to do that. What an absolute delight to get to do a story about queer joy for a young audience that's yeah. like the dream absolutely i think um the the place that i feel really excited about stella sort of landing in is this reckoning with whether or not power is worth it and what power looks like um and this sort of threat that she makes with her mother being like you know if you if you ask me to choose between my privilege and my friends and the people that i love and care about it's not even a competition. I think that's a really stunning yeah. uh, realization for her to have and a really exciting point to journey from. Yeah, and I think for Stella, like it's kind of like the, the relationship between her mother and um, herself, that mother-daughter bond is, yeah. it's always portrayed quite delicately, um, I think in Fate, which is lovely to see because, you know, not every girl is, it gets along well with her mother. And I think just having that kind of representation there is also very important to have in this day and age. Yeah, and the way in which that disrupts the entirety of your life and how you view the world, you know, it also makes me feel very grateful for the relationship I have with my mother and also with friends who are there to support me. It, 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 that sort of foundation and base is oh, priceless. It's, I feel very fortunate. Yeah, it's lovely. And Elliot, just to touch back on Tara's journey, because like that moment, I think, was such a pinnacle scene as well. And you portrayed it so beautifully. And the writing was just, it just made it so normal. And she was just like, right, here it is. Do, deal with it as you will. Like, uh, change your opinion of me as you will, which I just thought yeah. was such a, a great and very uh, on brand for the character as well. So what... Um, what was probably the most challenging part of doing that? Because I know you're saying that you're very excited to do it, but I, I'm sure there was also like nerves for it as well. Yeah, there were. And, and in a way that I wasn't really expecting, I thought, oh, I'm so excited to do this. This is going to be so much fun. What a brilliant story to get to do. And that's all true. But I think when it came to actually performing it, there was so much more um, kind of personal emotion about it um, than than I'd anticipated, which was kind of very cathartic yeah. and um I hope adds to it um because yeah it is quite authentic I think yeah. <laughs> at yeah. least internally for me and as performers how important is it for you because of course you shot on location in Ireland you know Irish pride yeah. woohoo and um <laughs> how important was it for you to have like those real locations there because Ireland definitely lends itself to that kind of like mythical fantasy sort of landscape and like I, I've spoken to some of your cast members already and all of them have mentioned the um the stone circle with Paris oh, Court yeah. waterfall in the background and things like that so that has to help as com in comparison to like being on a green screen set kind of thing Oh, definitely. Sure. It's so wonderful. And um, we can't talk enough about how much we love hanging out in Ireland. It's yeah, sure. so lovely. Yeah. And also getting to film um, with nice weather this year made a oh, real heaven. difference. Um, like, because we got to- be constantly damp is amazing. Oh, stunning. And also to be able to actually see the landscapes that everybody uh, loves so much. Yes. Um, yeah, no, it was, it was a delight. I feel like you can really feel the magic as well. At one point I went to a real fairy circle and I was just like, it's, it's with the cultivation of like magic and mystery is, it, it, it just feels very present in Ireland. And it, that in itself is just makes it, lends itself to just playing pretend that we do for a living. It makes our lives so much easier. So much more fun too. Yeah. Yeah. I was actually thinking there was one scene where um, Bloom and Berlin's boyfriend whose name has just escaped me but oh, they're yeah. like Sky thank you and they're like riding on the horse and it's just like that beautiful oh. sunshine in the green fields and I was just like wow they really got the weather this season didn't yeah, they? Yeah <laughs> we did. There was no, no sideways rain this time no. Yeah did they do any of that on location? That was location wasn't it? Yes. Some of it was green screen. Yes. Because A they had to do the little, little pretend horse. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> I love it and I did hear that there were a few even though it was COVID times you did still manage to get a few nights out in in Dublin and in Bray as well so we I, especially the George I heard was one of the nights oh me and Hannah oh. love it at the George god we love it at the George yeah we okay. are those as much as big we can, shout then. out to everyone who works in the George who is such a laugh oh my god so fun yeah yes partaking bingo was it 
Pardon? Was it part of the, the bingo, was it? No, we never made it for the bingo. No, we, which we even booked once and we yeah. couldn't go for some reason. But yeah, no, we just would sort of pitch up and... Constantly. And, and we're like, we're home. <laughs> take over the beer garden. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, do you know what? I know it has, there's nothing been announced yet, but just the way that season two ended, I personally feel that there is going to be a season three. So if there is, where do you see your, your characters going and where do you hope that they go? Oh, where do we hope they go? I hope they just continue to um, discover themselves and get lots yeah. of juicy scandal. And I hope we yeah. get to have more stuff together. Yeah, I really hope so yeah. as well. I feel like the journey that Stella's going on of um, reckoning with her power and figuring out who she is, like it feels very much like Terra's kind of taking the fall, like the lead on that. And there's mm. a lot that they could do together in order yeah. to achieve quite a big task, which Stella has to do. Yeah. Um, Oh, fantastic. And well, hopefully next time, um, if you are still filming in Ireland, that you get to bingo in the George. I'll see you there. Yes. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes, I'll see you there. <laughs> <laughs>